Huh? You feel peaches before eating? Huh? You eat them without feeling? It ruins the crunch. You'll get itchy from the fuzz. Really? Why do peaches throw that irritating fuss? Because without the fuzz, peaches wouldn't even survive. Nonsense! Peaches can't live without their fuzz! I used to think peach fuzz was useless, and I wanted to get rid of it until... Ah, uh, this sounds so harsh! Terry, what's wrong? The straw sunlight cracked my skin, and now I am drying and rotting! Could it happen to me, Dan? Don't worry, I've got you covered! Fuzz is here to block the sunlight! I have survived! Then came days of torrential rain. The rainwater clung to my surface too long. Now I'm rotting. I might be. Will it happen to me, Jeff? No! Don't worry, I'm here. We have more fuzz. It keeps water from pooling on the surface. Ah, I came a more dangerous threat. No, 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 don't come any closer. Don't worry, I've got you. Fuzz trips are fast, making it harder for them to hurt us. Thank you so That's much. That's when I realized every beautiful peach owes its life to the <laughs> efforts of peach fuzz. Come out of here. And more spars and even more. <laughs> Oh, this is perfect! Do you know why chilies are so spicy? Of course, they want to make people enjoy eating them more! <laughs> Stop making stuff up! Chilies are spicy because they don't want to be eaten! Why? To protect their seeds! Chilies need to spread their seeds to reproduce! But my seeds are too fragile! Easily crushed by humans and other mammals' teeth! Even if they survive the teeth, they get digested in the stomach! So I use spiciness to protect my seeds! When you eat me, your mouth feels like it's on fire and the pain makes you never want to eat me again! What's okay? Plants need to be eaten to spread their seeds. No. If no one eats you, you'll become extinct. Yeah. Ah. There are other animals besides mammals, like my dear bird friends. Birds can feel the spiciness of chilies. They don't have teeth, and their digestive systems are simpler. When they eat chilies, the seeds pass through their intestines and are expelled with the droppings. Then they fall to the ground, sprout, and grow. Your droppings also provide nutrients for the seeds to grow. They're my best partner. What a nonsense! Your best partner should be meat! Hey, look what I have! It's an avocado! Very healthy and bad, you can't afford it! <laughs> you really think avocados is healthy? Of course! They're rich in proteins! Can other fruit do that? No! But their fat content is higher than pork! Why do they say they're good? Because it's all just a marketing scam! Avocados came from Mexico. They were ordinary dirt cheap fruits. Until a fruit merchant said, This fruit has star potential. What's it called? Avocado. Hmm? A what? Are you kidding me? Help me, sir! I want to go viral! To go viral, you need a new name. From now on, you're Avocado! Oh, class! I'm destined to shine! Go! go! Expensive and unhealthy. Who would buy it? Uh, I'm flopping! Don't worry, I have a big move! The fruit merchant spent 4.5 million to make avocados appear at the Super Bowl in the US! An avocado a day keeps the losses away. Athletes are eating this healthy fruit. Buy it! Buy it! Buy it! Buy it! Buy it! Avocados become a hit in the US and then they march into China. The Americans are eating this. Come on, buy now! Buy it! Buy it! I'm famous! Now everyone believes I'm a superfood! I really am a marketing genius. Fierce <laughs> camera! Don't swallow your gum or your stomach will get stuck. No, oh, I'm so doomed. It's okay. Let me help you. Ah! Stop doing that. What will happen if my child swallows a gum? Relax. Gum won't stick to his stomach. Exactly. I don't want to stay here. My main ingredient is gum base. Gum base has a friend, water. When gum can stick to table, shoes, or even hair, when it meets water, like the gastric juice in her stomachs, the gum base bonds with water, becoming slippery and unable to stick. See? My child has gastric juice. It'll dissolve you. How naive. My gum base has one more trait. Corrosion resistance. Gum base is made from synthetic rubber found in tires and basketballs. A bit of stomach acid is no match and can't digest me. Huh? Does that mean it'll stay inside me forever? Dream on. While the stomach can't digest gum, the intestines will keep moving and push it out of the body. Oh, then I can swallow it now. No. Too much gum can block your stomach. And you will be in big trouble. trouble. Friends, how did your parents carry you as a kid? Let's discuss in the comments. Uh, a rotten apple. I'm throwing it away. Don't ah! throw it away. Just cut off the rotten part and it's still edible. That's good. It's not edible. The fruit is a rotten spot. Can we cut it off and eat the if rest? It's used from impact hits, external injury. It's safe to eat, but your apple is moldy. That's internal. There's also mold inside. Mold produces toxins. It might cause food poisoning. It's poisonous. Don't toxic. Don't it. The poisonous part has been cut off. The rest isn't poisonous and can be eaten. Great. I'll eat it then. Ah! No, you can't. Once fruit gets moldy, the mold produces toxins inside. For example, petulin can spread through the fruit along with its juice moving outward. Studies have found in moldy apples, even intact areas have 10 to 50 percent of petulin found in the rotten part. <laughs> Eating it can lead to various illnesses. Throw them all out. Don't throw them away. Just heat it up to kill the germs. All right. Absolutely not. Eating can kill some mold, but it can't eliminate petulin. <gasps> Should I toss it? Or toss it. Don't risk your health over a few dollars. A few dollars is not money. Guys, remember never ever. 
Can you be quiet? No way! <laughs> ah! Did you know honey's a preservative for corpses? I don't believe it! It's just a rumor! That is true. In ancient Egypt, when we make mummies, we'd smear honey all over the body like this. Why? Because honey is in a good place for bacteria. Its pH level is 3.2 to 4.5, making it acidic. <laughs> Here I am! That's way too acidic! My ideal pH level is 7! Honey's 80% sugar and has very little water. It's way too dry for bacteria. That's why honey doesn't spoil easily. Archaeologists found a 3,300-year-old jar of honey in an Egyptian pyramid. Nonsense! My honey says the shelf life is only 24 months! Ah! Don't interrupt me! That's because of osmophilic yeast. While it can thrive in honey's antibacterial environment, it's incredibly resilient. Perseverance is key! I will ensure! Normally it plays dead, but if honey isn't stored properly, exposure to sunlight, moisture, or air, it provides a full strength, causing the honey to spoil. To ensure safety, manufacturers usually set a 24-month shelf life. Oh no, I'd better eat quickly! Have a cup of coffee? Uh normal if there's a cockroach in the coffee. Every time you drink coffee, you might be drinking a cockroach. Huh? I just bought it from the store. How could there be a cockroach? No. The automatic coffee machine is inviting for them. How could it be? Because it doesn't get very hot and it's not cleaned regularly, so... Not only it has nutrients, it's also warm and humid. It's basically heaven for us! So some might accidentally flow out with the coffee. <laughs> From now on, we'll just make coffee ourselves. Coffee powder could also have cockroaches. That's not true. There's no cockroach. You're just fluffing. See, when coffee powder is still beans, the nutrient-rich and humid environment attracts cockroaches. Let's get rid of the cockroaches. Fight on! Two hours later. I give up. I'll just roast and grind them all together. So, coffee powder might contain cockroaches, but the FDA says it's legal. Legal my food! Cockroaches carry so many viruses and definitely do! Don't worry, there's disinfection and sterilization during its production. It's very safe. Drinking more might supplement your food. Listen up! Look at the chocolate they bought! Do you think she'll like this flavor? Is the pink too bright? Is the heart shape too flashy? What if she... Yeah. <laughs> I forgot you're single, asking you what helps! <laughs> Shut up! The chocolate you bought might be fake! Don't talk nonsense! It says right here! Milk chocolate! You ah. idiot! Don't just look at the front, check the ingredients what? list! What? Cocoa it. butter substitute? It's made mainly from cocoa butter substitute. It's just cocoa butter substitute chocolate, not real chocolate. Then what is the real chocolate? The main ingredient must be cocoa butter or the like. The substitutes can exceed 5%. If the substitute can replace cocoa butter, aren't they the same thing? Help! Cocoa butter is a natural fat extracted from cocoa beans. I'm low yield and expensive. Cocoa butter substitute is an artificial fat made from palm and other vegetable oils. Mass produced and cheap. But the taste isn't even close. I melt in your mouth. It tastes like wax. Plus, it may contain trans fats which are harmful to health. I'm out! That's such a scam! Ah, ah, Valentine's Day is about that love, that chocolate. not chocolate! Ah, exactly! Do you know why Moo is so smart? Because he's a dog! I want to be a dog too! I'll guard the house and bark loudly! I'll piss on the ground and eat dog food! You can't ah! eat that! Our nutritional needs are different because we evolved from wolves, so we need more meat and less grains and vegetables. If you eat dog food, your nutrition won't be balanced. Dog food's still food! What's the worst that can happen? Be careful, you might get sick! Dog food contains at least 25% protein. Twice the amount humans eat. Too much protein can cause constipation. Prolonged consumption may lead to kidney stones. I'll eat a piece, okay? No way! Dog food lacks essential nutrients for humans, like vitamin C. We can synthesize vitamin and see on our own so we don't need extra, but humans can. If you only eat dog food, you'll get bleeding gums and weaken immunity. Dog food also doesn't have salt, but humans need at least 5 grams of salt per day. Without salt, you'll feel weak and swollen and eventually die. Oh, I won't eat it anymore! But I'm not a human! The, ah! can. the milk you drink is probably fake. I don't believe it! <laughs> Gee, did you smell that? How could it be fake? Idiot! Yeah, the packaging doesn't have the word milk on it. How could it be real? This is milk, so it must be real! Idiot! Yeah. The protein content is only 2.4 grams per 100 ml. How could it be real? Our food safety standards state real milk must have 2.9 grams per 100 ml. Well, I've got this one! The protein content is super high! It's gotta be real milk! Nope. Ah! This isn't real milk either. Milk. Check the ingredient list. What's in it? Read it! Chewed milk, water, sugar, banana! Genuine milk. pure milk should have only one ingredient. Raw milk. Yours has a bunch of additives. How could it be real? Don't waste it! When buying milk, remember to take a closer look because... Yeah! Browser made of chocolate!
Nonsense! Nonsense! The pearls and bubble tea are actually dope. It looks like this. That is true. I was a cassava root from America. Hey, kid. I see potential in you. Come with me and make a name for yourself. Sir, I will work hard. Extract the starch, add water, sugar, cook, and cool. Then I'll turn into a pearl. Sir, here's my resume. I'm 9.99 you won. We're priced at 20 to 30, but you're 9.99. Cheap stuff can't be good quality. I'm good quality. I'm just easy to grow and low maintenance. Find me anywhere and I thrive. What? We've met a hustler. And so, Pearl secured its place in the desert world. Look at this rise. Why did you turn hard? The Pearl has been working all day and still bouncing. It has a stable molecular structure, elastic, chewy, and resilient. Even cooled it soft. Perfect. Low wages, high performance. You're the ultimate worker. Thanks, sir. Help me out. On my way. I need a hand. Here I come. Pearl doesn't have flavor and can blend into any drink. A top-notch employee. Real young people with no personality like you are rare these days! After coconut jelly, red beans, and pudding, Pearl remains people's favorite! Sir, extra pearls, please! Ah! Uh, mm, mm. <laughs> this watermelon isn't sweet, I'm not eating it! Huh? Don't waste ah! it! Try this! It's just the same watermelon, no thanks! This one's ah! chilled! <gasps> Why does chilled watermelon taste sweeter? It's because of the fructose. The sweetness of watermelon comes from fructose, glucose, and sucrose. The sweetness of glucose is 0.7 times that of sucrose, while fructose is about 1.7 times sweeter. Fructose plays a key role. What does it have to do with the chilling? Hear me ah! out. Fructose has a weird trait. The colder it is, the sweeter it gets. No, 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 don't it's true. It. Fructose comes in two forms. I'm Pyranus fructose. I'm Furanus fructose. They look similar, but their sweetness is different. My sweetness is three times yours. I, I want to be sweeter too. And so, Furanus began searching for a way to become sweeter. After going through spring, summer, fall, and winter. Pyranose, I finally become you! If it's cold, the Fyranose fructose in watermelon converts into Pyranose fructose, so it's sweeter. I better eat quickly! It might warm up soon! Can you believe this is how chili peppers became Chinese cuisine? I'm a deadly toxin from South America. My big brother Potato has solanine. My other brother Tomato has solanine too. And yet they both became food. <laughs> Damn it! I will avenge you with my capsaicin! In the Ming Dynasty, chili peppers came to China. Let me go! China? You think you're the best in cooking? Come on, I'll spice you up! No! Oh, it's pretty, let me cut it! Huh? In Prosperous Yang Yang, there's a variety of food no one used chili peppers in cooking! How will I revenge? No! I'm out of here! In the Qing Dynasty, chili peppers reach Weizhou! Attack! So spicy! I'll squirt you with the heat! My brothers, I'll offend you! It's yummy! In ancient Guizhou, the roads were rough and salt was scarce, food was bland. What a soup better! Sour soup not good, but pepper so spicy, so cool, so appetizing! I love your pepper, you're my savior! Actually, it feels good to be needed! I'll make more people fall in love with me! Later, chili peppers spread to Sichuan. Awesome! They became key to Sichuan cuisine! My brothers, they taste so amazing! Did you know, some people are so poor, they only eat abalone every day. Nonsense, I can only eat dirt. That's true. These laborers ate abalone every day. Why? Because no one else would. In 1850, many Chinese went to the U.S. mine for gold upon arrival. Chinese, go back. The gold is ours. Why is it so worked up? What a weirdo. Although they couldn't mine for gold, they discovered... These abalone shells will make great buttons. <laughs> shell. Are they stupid? Americans don't like eating abalone. But our ancestors started eating during the Western Han Dynasty. Raised steam or boiled abalone. Everything is delicious. In America, we achieve abalone freedom. Oh, everything is fine here. I can even eat abalone every day. They also turned other seafood into dry goods. By 1888, income from squid alone exceeded $12,500. I'm so lucky. It's not just luck. There's wisdom and effort behind it. To compete with Americans, they brainstorm oh, together. Squid are like moths. They're attracted to light. We can shine a light at night and catch them. They work tirelessly. Hurry up, they're sleeping. Many neighbors were forced across the ocean. They worked very hard to earn more money so they could return home in glory. You're so smart because we eaten too much barbecue. Nonsense. My brilliant brain is inherited from my mom. Nonsense. You didn't inherit an ounce of my genius. I'm serious. Barbecue help humans increase their brain capacity. Ah! Long ago, primitive humans struggled to get enough to eat. Eating only plants isn't enough. We need to eat meat. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so hard to eat? Until fire was discovered. It's most amazing! That's because the protein and sugar can undergo Maillard reaction, creating the delicious aroma. It's easier to chew, because I don't need these huge teeth anymore. So, as humans evolved, teeth got smaller, jaws narrower, and brain capacity gradually increased. Am I not fully evolved yet? Don't worry, your brain size is fine. As humans' brain capacity grow, they have time to think about more than just eating. I want to explore the endless sky! I want to know the secrets of the ocean! I want to make barbecue even better! So someone improved the barbecue tools. Who tastes better if you use the Shaolin Square stove? Others Innovated barbecue ingredients. Josh, you, you're stuck at home, you're For me, I love pigeon the most.